channel i'm paul from flutter ferry today i'm going to get you guys into our map so in this video i'm going to display our map and using the google maps and flutter plugin to do that and which is stable and which is going to help us so here is an overview of it and i'm going to set up an account so if you have not watched the video and now we set up our account using our um, phone authentication and also some few things we did so you can actually go back to this video and watch take a look and so you can actually get along with this other video we are doing so i have my email here which is test i'm going to grab this and I'm going to set up my account and I'm going to display a map so it displays and also shows uh, the uh, marker here is my current location if you zoom in you're going to see where I, I am so please don't come please 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 don't come and visit me I don't need visitors okay so that's it and let's move to the to code part of it set up maps in our flutter project so the first thing you're going to go do and here here is you go to your spot spec .tmf file and add some plugins that i'm going to add here the first would be the google maps flutter the second will be the location and the third will be the geolocator package so this is for getting some um fields some value from the user from its current position we might want to get his position the name of the place he, he is so we are going to use this particular two packages and the google maps flutter package and plugin rather is what actually do all the logic when it comes to the map and displays the map in a widget for us so i'll go to that google maps flutter so you can go to it and see how to actually do everything on it so we have added that and i'm going to go ahead and save it and i'll save that so the next thing here if you should if you can go through this documentation they are talking about enabling a google map sdk for each of your platform that you'll be using maybe you'll be using it on and android on android or on ios so you should go ahead and enable it so you can actually use the google maps api so you can get the key from here so clicking here will take you to that place to the um, google developers console so i'm going to click here which i've already done that and here i am so for your project maybe you have it already on your um, fire store so this is already synced with your um, google cloud platform so you're going to click on this drop down button and select your project and yeah my project is city cap and i've selected it already so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to search for maps i'm going to search for um i'm going to copy this so i don't have to look for it i'm going to paste this in and try to search this and maps sdk for android and it's coming up and here it is i'm going to click on it and and clicking on it is loading it's loading 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 and for at as it is loading here you're going to enable it so you're going to see an enable box button here and you click on it so when you're done you can go ahead to manage it and when you're in here that's when you can create your api key or it will defaultly create an api key for you to use so let's wait and see so i'm going to click on the 
APIs we have enabled, which is the Maps SDK for Android. I'm going to click on it. I have made 100 requests already, 10 requests already. So, and here it is. It is so I'm going to go to the um, drawer here and I'll click on APIs or, or credentials. Sorry, I'm going to click on credentials and I'm trying to get the key. So, and that's what we are going to do here on credentials. So, it has opened up, and here is our keys so we can use and we have our api keys here and we have that of the android key and you can go in and do maybe some restrictions if you may you may want but for this particular video i'm not doing it and after the video i'm going to delete and disable it so we can just create it it's simple and if you can copy that api key because we are going to use it in our project so you can go over to the project and go to your manifest android manifest file and clicking on it you you're going to see and you're going to see all of this and where the android manifest file is actually located is the app the android folder the app and in the main so you can see it in the gear in the main and yet is so you're going to add this line of code that we have added this api key from google and i'm going to save that so i'm going to close and close this also so the next we are going to do is to uh, to increase the minimum sdk version of this project to 20 because if it is 16 it's going to run to an error so i'm going to add 20 as a minimum sdk i'm going to save that so the next thing we are going to do now um, is our map view so i'm going to close all of this because we don't want them open and in our map view here is where we are going to create some good uis for our map and and like what i've shown you so let's go to it so in our own page here where i talked about our authentication flow and setting up our account which i told you about so if our user is logged in and is verified and authenticated we can show them our map view which is actually the main and uh, app so i'm going to go in there and here it is here it is so i'm going to make, make some imports and here are the imports we are going to use that async we are going to use the geolocator package we are going to use the flutter maps and pack and, and, and plugin i'm going to use the flutter maps plugin and also i'm going to initialize and i'm going to use the init state so we can initialize some functions that we want to get initialized at the start of this page so the next thing is our current position because we want to get that so we can get a marker displayed on on our map the next is a completer and this will be our controller so the con completer actually um, takes in a Google map controller as a type so you can see what com a completer does a way to produce future objects and to complete them later with a value or error so it's self-explanatory and the next is markers and the markers is a set so a set is an ordered list so we want our markers to be ordered ordered so the next we are going to get is the get current location and we are going to call it in here so we are going to do some logic in here and the position so we can actually get this particular map and component all of this to a particular to our services later in 
our alchemy videos i just want to show you how we can display all of this in our map in our but in our in map view so the on our next project and uh, next video we are going to take it down to our services and from there we can manage it from there and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to set state and the the get current location is we are going to use the position and this is from the geo locator package plugin and we are going to get current position desired accuracy we are going to use the location accuracy high and we are going to set this position and from this position you can get some few things like the latitude and longitude timestamp and, and a lot of information there so we are going to set it to this current position so we are using the lat length and lat length class providing this to um, latitude and longitude and the lat length class is actually getting the latitude and longitude so the next thing we are going to do we are going to add a marker and a marker has its own class and we are going to pass in a marker id as 12 which is string and the position as our current position here and um, with a no shift operator there and also we have our info window here and it has a title that says hi pause here and the next thing we are going to have is our in on our ui which is on our build method and the next is the size box and that has the height like the height is as of the screen and the next is the width the width is the width of the screen and we have a child and we will do some check here if the current position is no which is not no we should show the map the global map else we should show the size box so the next is global maps and our map type we're going to set it to normal the markers here we are going to set it to the marker z and the initial camera position the target we are going to set it to our current position and zoom it by 15 and uh, the on map created we are going to and um, get the controller here and use the complete and pass in the controller we have here so that is all i'm going to save this i'm going to save all of this and try to rerun this and so should wait So here we are on our map. So in our map we have everything has been working. It's working and clicking on this you see I pause here. So that's a very quick step of showing a map on our um, on our app. So on our next video we are going to take those logic and keep it in our services so whenever we want it we can actually assess it and thank you for watching this video if you if you're not a subscriber to this channel please do that and also you can thumbs up to this video and if you notice uh, i'm doing anything wrong please don't hesitate to um, comment it out so i can correct myself and this is all about learning i'm learning so much from this and i'm thanking you guys for sticking around and thank you and god bless you